Hey guys and gals, Danny Boy here, and today I have the Moto Edge, and you know, this phone just came out pretty recently, and uh, what I want to talk about in this particular video is the software features on this phone. Just kind of want to go over what Motorola has to offer here with the software on this phone. So the Motorola Edge here, okay, as you can see here in me picking up the phone, we do have a nice lock screen here with the clock and the temperature and the date. Definitely really good there. Now if I go into the phone here, we can see this is the stock Moto Launcher. This is how I have mine set up here. Okay, so you get five icons there in the dock, and then uh, this is what the pull-down notification and toggle area looks like here. And of course, you can customize either light or dark mode, and then we've got different accent colors here. And I'll turn the brightness down a bit here so you can see this a bit better, maybe a little bit higher than that. Okay, so let's start out by looking at what our settings here. If we go to home settings, uh, we've got app suggestions, notification dots, add your icons to the home screen, uh, allow home screen rotation. So that's a pretty good feature if you like that. And then we've got swipe access, uh, and that's, we tap that. We can do the Google feed to the left of the home screen. I leave that off personally, but it is there if you do like that. Okay, so pretty standard affair there, but definitely some good settings. So like I said, you know, this is what it looks like, at least for me. This is how I have mine set up. Okay, and if I scroll down here and go into the actual settings here, um, we can look at the battery here. We do have the ability to determine when the battery saving mode will come on. I got mine set to 30% there. Okay, so that's really good. And then if I go to display here, okay, um, we've got the night light, so that's good. You might want to leave that on all the time. I, I do leave mine on all the time because I like that it gives the screen a little bit of an extra pop here. But we also have adaptive brightness. Um, this phone tends to have a little bit more on the dim side of a screen, so you might want to turn adaptive brightness on. Okay. Um, and then, of course, we do have the ability, like I was saying, to choose the accent color and then how our icons look, both on the desktop and in the toggle areas and just all this good stuff. As you can see, the fonts here. Okay and just really good setup here and then of course the layout the grid okay so very good customization there and then of course you got your wallpaper dark theme i'll turn that off and that's your light theme okay i'll turn that back on got our edge lights okay so we've got a lot going on here with the edge lights and the, basically this is for notifications, for phone calls, for text messages, you've got the edges that light up, okay? So if I hit the settings here, you can kind of determine when and what will do the edge lighting there. So really good here, I, I really like that. Okay, and then we've got um, edge display, and um, this is one of the best features, in my opinion, of this phone. Because basically what this does, and I've demonstrated this already, but I'll do it again. Like if I open up Wikipedia here, and let me search for an article here. I'll just go Titanic, okay. And basically, as you can see, if I turn off the edge uh, display there, you can see that the text in this article kind of runs off to the side there. Okay, and that for me is a big issue with a lot of curved displays is I can't really have them as my daily driver because I have this issue with text running off the sides of the display and I do a lot of reading on my phone so it's kind of important for me to have a really solid reading experience. Well, with the Motorola Edge here, if you click this, see how it just tightened up that text so it's on the flat part of the display. 
and there's no text running over the side anymore. Basically, this feature is so critical and sets this phone apart from so many other phones with curved displays. I wish all curved display phones had this feature. This is just a great, great feature by Motorola, so you gotta love this. But as you could see there when I was turning that on and off, that brings up this little sidebar here. And you do have the ability to turn that on and off from this sidebar here uh, by tapping that icon that Motorola provides. And then, of course, I've got some apps set up here now. If I click the settings, this is what it allows you to do to select different apps. If I go to tools, it you know, turn on, on and off edge display. And then you can have the ruler. And then, of course, you can have contacts, okay? So that's really good there. Um, but let's get back to the uh, settings here. So back to the display settings. Of course, you do have your peak display like you have on Motorola phones on the lock screen to peak at notifications. And then uh, your screen timeout does allow you to go up to 30 minutes of inactivity there. Really like that. Here's your uh, color modes here, so basically standard affair here. You've got three different modes here, okay. Um, you do have the refresh rate of the display. You can have it on 90, 60, or auto, okay, so that's really good. Um, and then you've just pretty much got your other standard stuff here that you got on most uh, Motorola phones. Okay, you do have the attentive display here. Um, and that allows you to for the display to stay on when you're looking at it. Okay, and uh, let's see. So yeah, and then you've got a three finger screenshot. That's basically just hold three fingers on the screen, and it takes a screenshot. You can scroll down, um, so that's nice. And then edit. You know, so we've got definitely a good suite here for the, the screenshots here. Okay, and then um, you do have an edge touch feature, so you can double tap or swipe uh, on the action bar for quick shortcuts. Okay, and as you can see there, that's what I was demonstrating here. Okay, so really good there. Um, really good. Uh, settings here in the display and then the audio settings are also really good on this phone if I go to advanced um, these are your pretty standard things here okay um, but you do have your media controls there which is nice and then um, let's see where they're at there's more audio sound settings I'll have to get to those um, but basically, you've just got your standard stuff here. Here's your accessibility stuff. Okay. So pretty good here. And, um, of course, you've got digital well-being. Now, if I go back out here um, and click on Motorola, this is basically Motorola's suite of features. Okay. We, we went over the personalized stuff and then you do have different effects for your fingerprint unlock. So that's pretty cool here. Okay. So that's the one I use. I think that looks the coolest. Um, you know, your flashlight. Okay. That's basically the two chops here to turn on the flashlight. That's really good. Um, and then let's see what else we got here. Quick capture, so you do this and that launches the camera on the phone. So that's really good. I really like this. Now this took, you know, probably about a week to get used to because I was used to double tapping the power button like on most Android phones. So it took a little bit of time to get used to, but once I did, it was good. Um, and then, you know, we kind of went over some of this already. You can do pick up to silence when your phone's ringing. You pick it up and it will silence the ring. You got media controls there. Um, and then you've got lift unlock. Okay, so that's really good. And let's see. We went over, there is a game section here. I'm not really into games. Um, 
but I can go look at that real quick. Um, okay, so here's your different game settings here. You can pause the video if that interests you. Okay, and then um, trying to find the, the audio stuff because there is audio stuff on this phone. If I can find it here. Okay, so under the sound, I missed it here. It says Moto Audio. Okay, so you got music, movie, or game. So you can customize the audio experience based on which uh, thing you're doing here. So I got mine set to movie all the time because I think that's when, you know, the audio sounds the best that way. And I watch a lot of YouTube videos, so I think that's the best for me. But if you're a gamer, you're going to want to set it to game. And then, of course, if you listen to a lot of music, but, um, you know, this is what um, basically we got going on, as you can see here. And highly customizable here, guys, um, as you can see, different uh, settings here, and you can tweak all this to be just how you want it. Okay, so definitely like the Motorola audio experience. This phone does have really good dual speakers on it. It's one of the, the biggest things about this phone, just really good speaker quality. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much the software experience here of the Motorola Edge. Now, there is no always-on display. Okay, so that might be a con to some. Of course, you do have the quick, you know, tapping on the phone to see your notifications there and whatnot. But no always on display. It's probably because it's more of a mid-range phone and they probably wanted to conserve battery life or whatever. But that is something to kind of bear in mind here. But besides that... Um, the software is really solid on this phone, guys. So, yeah, that's the software of the Motorola Edge uh, from my perspective. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.